Okay, today I'm going to discuss on popsicle stick bridge design. Before starting to make any bridge, the first and foremost thing which we should keep in mind is the design. This design term is very important. Actually, people are often confused that whether to go for arch or truss. Whether to go for arch or truss. Which one is stronger, they ask. But I'm sure that after watching this video, your doubts are going to be cleared and you will be able to know that when I have to design an arch bridge and when I have to design a truss bridge. Okay, so please try to understand one term that is called load, L-O-A-D, load. The term load is very important. Which kind of load you are going to give in your bridge? Which type of load your bridge is going to take? Whether it is a point load or it is UDL, that means uniformly distributed load. Whether it is a uniformly distributed load or whether it is a point load, this is very important. And I will say that if it is point load, if you, are, you have to give point load in your bridge, then you design trust bridge. And if you have to give uniformly distributed load in your bridge, then design arch bridge. Okay. In um, some uh, road bridges where through which vehicle transportation takes place, we can find the lots of arch bridges because there the load is uniformly distributed load, isn't it? Okay. Now I will show you that why for point load we will design truss bridge and for UDL we will design arch bridge okay I will show you okay so for for point load go for truss why suppose this is my beam and there are two supports. This is a base of your bridge. Suppose you don't know what to make. You are in the confusion state that whether you might want to make arch or a truss bridge. You don't know. I will show you what you have to do. See, first be clear about your loads. You want to give point load. Okay, very fine. 50 kg point load will, add, will be acting at the middle of your beam. So, draw the bending moment diagram of this beam. Probably the people who have studied uh, strength of material, they will understand better, but everybody will understand. See, bending moment diagram for this case will look something like this. Okay. Why? Because see, at the fixed ends, at the fixed ends not at the supported ends the bending moment will be zero because there is no bending bending will be maximum at the center see at the center the curve the straight line has reached its maximum point it is at its peak so you can see from your bending moment diagram that it is a triangle when it is a triangle so you can understand that you have to design truss bridge and not arch bridge so arch in case of point load is a wrong concept in case of point load truss will be correct okay now now if the point load is going to act in some different way suppose this is your base of the bridge or this is simply supported at two ends. Suppose, uh, suppose uh, here uh, the point, suppose here you are hanging 50 kg and here at the bottom it is 100 kg through a help of rod. This low total 150 kg, 150 kg load is actually acting at this middle point. 
so at a single point so you need to design a truss bridge and not arch bridge so the shape of your truss bridge will be something like this okay now you can add some vertical members to your bridge to strengthen your bridge okay suppose the load is now acted in some different way suppose this is the beam this is the base okay it is simply supported at the two ends okay it is simply supported at the two ends suppose your load is going to hang in some different uh, in this way this is your 50 kg and this is 100 kg now see the load is going to uh, the force is going to act in two different places at this point and at this point but it is point load at to p1 and p2 so again this is going to be a truss bridge and not arch bridge you have to design a truss bridge for this condition but design will be something different its bending moment diagram if you do if you draw its bending moment diagram it looks something like this and that will be the design of your bridge okay now you can add some vertical members to strengthen your bridge suppose i have added like this okay now i think you have learned how what kind of design you have to make so what you have learned is that first you have to know that what kind of load is going to be at at which point have i know that in this uh, in this case my load is going to act at this point and at this point so i have designed the bridge according to that point. you have understood okay now so you have got when to design the uh, truss bridge okay in case of a point load now why in case of udl uniformly distributed load we design arch bridge why this is very simple once more once again if you draw the b base of your bridge these are two point loads suppose you once more you don't know which kind of design you have to make but you know your load this is udl uniformly distributed load whole udl suppose it is 20 kg per meter instead of a single point it is acting throughout the beam it is 20 kg per meter 1 meter 20 kg so if it is 5 meter it is 100 kg now similarly for this case also you have to draw your bending moment diagram in this case your bending moment diagram will be parabolic if you want to, if you read strength of material you will be able to understand why it is parabolic so it is parabolic so you can see that it is taking a shape of arch so you have to design your bridge in an arch shape okay now you can add some vertical members to strengthen your bridge just like previous case okay this is your arch bridge have you got it so you uh, if you know that what kind of load is going to act in your bridge you can be able to design see actually in uh, general competition bridge building competitions we are given point load so you it's better that you can go for uh, truss bridges okay there are different kinds of truss bridge you make this is your truss truss bridges this is your fink truss i think this is your fink truss this is your this is your pratt truss this is fink truss this is pratt truss now do not question that which is which among these two is stronger and depending upon the load if the load is at the center point at a single point then fink truss is more strong than pratt but if the load is at two points here and here then i will say that pratt truss is more stronger 
if the load at this single point, single point, then fin truss is stronger. Okay, now you have learned it. Okay, thank you very much. If you have any doubt, please comment. I will, I will be very happy to help you out. Okay, thank you very much.